This video right here though, trust me guys, these are the best, these are the best. I realized after I started editing this video that there is no context this, right, whatsoever so in this I vlog. I'm going to try video. and explain what's going on, okay? It's a bit different to normal, Top. but I think you'll appreciate it more. Cal and Harry were having a little nap while I was editing yesterday's video, and this is where it all begins. So, just a bit of backstory to this. Like, what happened was, Calix was doing his 30-day of upload, and I said to Cal, you know what would make your, it would make it so much more sick is if you decided to, like, go abroad on a spontaneous one. So, literally, the night before, I was sitting in a room with Lux, like, should we just go to Mykonos? Mykonos looks like a banger. I've heard it's good. And then well, I shouted next door. I was like, Harry, what are you doing tomorrow? He's like, no, I'm not doing anything. I was like, what are you doing the next day? He's like, I'm not doing anything. I was like, right. Boom. Thorpe Park. Thorpe Park? <laughs> no, not Thorpe Park. Mykonos. Someone put Thorpe Park in the chat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bug, this is, look, show the empty class on his Jesus. table. Isn't it? Just as, whoa. No, 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 in the back with him. We then arrived at our hotel, grabbed some drinks, and tried to settle in. Quick house tour. By far one of the weirdest places I've ever stayed. So, so what happened was we went to Mykonos, and Lux was like, oh, I'm going to spend some money and get the, the, the dope suite. And we are like, all right, fine. We'll just get normal one. Here's the first bathroom. Bam, bam, bam. Coffee machine, which he was loving telling me about. He was like, to the anyway, second so floor, which is pretty much the same size as the first, like, but it has a bed this time and a shower. Now up to the floor that I am staying on. A bit messy. Ignore that. All right. So anyway, um, what am I doing? Well, it's nice to see. I put. I would. I have a little bit. A little bit more something to my arms at this point. A couple of cocktails later, we then moved on so, to a sushi restaurant, which Sarah and I had been to before. But I wanted to take the boys to show them. Not everything went to plan, though. So already at this point, we're pretty peppered, but we're not. For my hand peppered. again. It's arrived. He spilled soy sauce on over his top, and he's trying to hide it. Right. Oh wait, there he's we go. He's out of thing. He looks class. After our meal, we just found ourselves walking it around the town aimlessly trying to find video. some. I... Oh, six foot three. You won't be able to hear okay, me. Okay, now this is going to be really loud, loud obviously. Phone. To explain, we found this, like, just uh, this nightclub, right? <laughs> And we just decided we were gonna get absolutely trolley. And Lux is uh, that like everyone was dancing over the pole. Lux gets it, and the woman is just fuming. Like he had just taken over the pole, and she's not having it at all. <laughs> and then these two girls were so gassed with our um, our incredible performances. Yep, that legit happened. But at least I got a sexy out of someone. What the hell? All right, I told Lux when he filmed this. I said this bit right here. Why does this voiceover bit seem really weird? Yep, that legit happened, but at least I got a sexy out of someone. What the hell? I can't be the only one. We're supposed to be going home. What does Cal Freezy do? Yeah, it's a, it's a pit stop, innit? What it's do Madison. you think about the pit stop? Oh, Harold's gone. Harold's gone. On the way back, I was there like, boys, I need more beds. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna lie, Cal. The spot that you chose is quite good. Yeah, right. thank you. Yeah. It's quite, it's By the way, just so you guys know, if I was to fall over to the right here, I'm in the water. There's nothing there stopping you from going in. Quite good. Because you're right by the water. Yeah. And here's a story from Harry. Oh, yeah. A year this and a half ago in Guernsey, some guy fell out of sea and he died. All right, Harold. Cheers to that fella. Really appreciate that. Yeah. We've got food. This was unbelievable munch. You know that munch just hits so different. So different when you're waved. Oh, that hits so good. Like, okay, so would you rather get your balls and your nose dragged across sandpaper? My sand balls paper? and my nose dragged yeah. across sandpaper. Or, or daily vlog. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> we can't find our way home. I'm, I'm peppered. I at this point, you lot, I'm absolutely peppered, and it, we we kept going around in circles. We couldn't find our way home, so I just need to lay down. Oh, wait, wait, it's all going all over me. Oh, uh, uh, the water. Uh, the filth. Oh my god, yeah. That was my water for the night. Yeah. <laughs> so I was so pissed off, right? And the reason why I was pissed off was because I bought this big bottle of water because I was like, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go to bed with it. And that way, when I wake up in the morning, I've got a nice bottle of water. Now these guys, they took it and they poured it. They poured it out and I was so pissed off. Oh my God. 
<laughs> we wanted to go home. Cal said there was a party up here. He was ch All right. The, the truth, no, I wasn't chatting shit, Harry. We end up at another party. I heard some noise and I still didn't want to go home. And then we went somewhere else and had more to drink. Yeah. Oh, man, this is such a good trip. But there's a follow up to it. It doesn't end there because the next one is unbelievable because what Harry ended up, so that's the last time you see Harry there, right? So this is the last moment we see Which Harry. We can actually use. This one here. <laughs> it gets. <laughs> That, so, yeah. That's the last footage anyone has of Harry. Now, the next bit is key. Because it did, it got so much worse. I'm gonna show you guys why. Because the story it will be great, of what happened. Said. I have just it's arrived unreal. home. And yes, just hooked up with them again. Yes. Uh, apparently there's some interesting So we're I'm hanging out. Yeah, right. I come to my this story is unreal. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. It's 8 a.m. So I'm outside. I don't know how I've got there. So I go into what I think is my villa. And I don't know how I got the door open. But I go into this villa. Yeah. And I, I, it's not my villa. But I'm drunk. And I'm like, oh, it's my villa. So I go into, there's a room yeah. which is, doesn't exist in my villa. And I open this door. And there's just a geezer lying in bed. <laughs> I was lying. A bald guy just lying in bed, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I've wrong rid of. I don't get how I got in because like his door must have just been like not fully shut. I can't get. I'm banging on my, the door of my own villa. Like, fucking let me in. I'm not realizing it's my villa. <laughs> I'm in my boxes, by the way. Like, I'm fully like nearly naked. And so I'm like, all right, Freezy will save me. So I run upstairs, bang on his door for a bit. He comes through, and I sleep in his bed. Right. So there needs to be more context here, right? What actually happened was, um, so that did all happen. But then Harry banging on my door, letting me in. And um, I, I essentially, he, he's so peppered. Um, he, he just goes to bed on the floor and then has to pick him up and put him in the bed. He, he absolutely done. <laughs> so like, Lux is editing the last video. So we were like, oh, fuck it. We'll just go out and get some quad mice. <laughs> but we've run into a bit of an issue. A dead oh, end. Here. We were just dicking around on these things. Right, Cal, give me decent odds of you going in the bar fully clothed. Oh, why me? No, 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 no. It's always me. You do it. What are the odds in you going in the bar fully clothed? 15. A good man will give me 10. Oh, okay. Right. Three, two, one, six. <laughs> so he hops in yeah. here. See and we leave oh, him. Tomorrow, it's just going to be exactly the same as last night, isn't it? Like, you're not ready to... <laughs> so we did odds on. This was in prime odds on time, by the way. There he is. He's right there. And we dared him to yeah. get on top of this te this food table with all these uh, other girls over there, and he gave it a good shift. <laughs> you gotta rate him forever. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. And then the night really starts. I like to drink with yeah. Bob and it descends into chaos once again. Same place, got the pole back out again. Shot not absolutely bouncing. Uh, what we would do for a, a pre-COVID night out. How close did I get to hitting my head on the concrete? Like that. Like genuinely. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Like that. Watch I don't know if you can see this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. And he was literally about this no, far away from whacking his head against no the side of a bit of that. Oh, look at Boggy's back, bro. Where your big face is in the way. I found this clip so funny because watch out. He literally sees a bar and leaves Harry for dead. So Harry's on the ropes. I was carrying him around Mykonos. <laughs> Just the way I've got his neck. Like, get in here, mate. We're getting a photo. I thought it was a photo. So no, get in the photo, Bella. Yes, he just he, he can't even see straight, mate. He doesn't know where he is. <laughs> Who cannot spell the name? Me. Oh, man. <laughs> We're back at that bar where the water is right next to you and you can I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you can hear the fucking glass just smash At this point we had no idea where Cal was. He literally just ran off. So Harry and I decided to get some food Oh boy. I don't know where I went here by the way you lot. I'm pr uh, uh, I was doing my own thing Made it home <laughs> The windmill that was the windmill that Lux was it's saying it. it was shit. It Look at that big old windmill to the windmill it is. <laughs> and yeah, that's the vlog. That's the trip over. Should we watch an old you know one three happened. years ago? I know I said daily vlogging. But Iron music. Apple with the boys. Beautiful furniture. What are we saying, guys? A little Iron Apple with the boys. That Welcome to a new vlog. Yeah, we are oh, heading to Iron Apple in Cyprus for a few days. Me. Yo, this guy, up, boss? and I nearly Sorry, tripped over your suitcase. <laughs> yeah, mate, Eight going down me. Um, Yo, this guy, up, just bringing and I nearly tripped two over. suitcases. Two suitcases to go Napa. Sit, shoot. <laughs>
remember, bro. JJ, JJ went into the um to the shop where the like Giuseppe's or whatever it's called, and he literally just went in there and said, "I want all the new ones, all the latest ones that have come out since the last time I was here, which is like three months." He's like, "I want all of them, all in size 11 or whatever he is." There was like 12 pairs of the same shoe. Look at the fucking hell. What's he filming this with a potato? Have a browser that. Like, yeah, let, let's keep that shot in. That's nice and crispy. That, that'll show him what Iron Apple's all about. Hey. Oh, yeah. We tweeted out or put out that we were going to um, Iron Apple. And we turned up. And there was, I don't know how many people. Maybe like 30 to 50 people just waiting at the airport for us. It was mad. Maybe not so much me. I think they were mainly there for Joe Sugg. But, you know. I took my photo. They're like, waiting for us. They're like, yeah. Who the fuck are you again? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I wasn't in this house. Nah, he's not good. So Harry, Toby, and Ethan were in this house. <laughs> he's not good. Right, Harry you, Slim yeah, here, you it. know. It's All right, a couple out. things. Okay, a couple things about this shot. All right. This was the one that I was staying in. What happened was one night we come back. Everyone's peppered, right? We had a, a bunch of people back. And we had a, a bit of a party here. Um, I'll save a full, the, the, the full story for the podcast. But anyways, one day we decided to have pre-drinks at this pool. And, you know, we were rowdy. We were, we were enjoying our time there. We decided to take the entire furniture. Uh, at the time, this was, a, this was a fun idea. At the time, looking back, it's terrible. Took all the furniture and we put it in the pool. And we sat in the pool. There is photos of all the boys sitting in chairs in the pool. In the pool. Just chilling there, having pre-drinks. In the pool, sitting, couch, seat. Put the table there, everything. Uh, I'll explain it uh, on a podcast because th what happened at the end of that night was one of the craziest things I've ever seen on a holiday. In other news, we had fans trying to jump over. You can see to the left where those palm trees are, the two palm trees. Fans would like try and jump over there and like come come into the house and stuff like that. But we had uh, Chuck, the bodyguard, who would just bang them up one time. What podcast? It's a podcast I'm starting with um, Chip. Uh, it's called The Fellas. It's a podcast. It's starting in November. Yeah. And it's got something to do with the sunbeds here. Let, let me just put it that way. Well, over the water. Um, this is also, I don't know if you guys have ever heard the story about the time JJ, uh, Simon pinged the ball at JJ's head and JJ absolutely lost his fucking head and almost tried to beat his shit out of him. This is a pretty fresh pool as well. Uh Vez knows what happened on the sunbeds. Bro, it's a madness. Oh, it just doesn't well out of place. <laughs> Did you see his glasses? I know. He's going at like two miles an hour as well. <laughs> Safety first and all. Suggy, they're driving it like he's driving a VW van here. I have a browser as the way he's holding onto the wheel. All right. Just going through town, dropping off milk at his nans. Fucking hell, not too fast, boys. Might pop the speed cameras at this rate. JJ, J look, uh, everybody just overtaking JJ. Yeah, thank you for waiting outside of our house. It's the Minecraft music for me. Right, guys, so this probably comes from literally out of nowhere, but this is actually the end of the vlog. I am about to leave Cyprus and head on back home to get back on the video grind, live streams, and that sort of stuff. He bottled it, is what he did. Mate, he bottled it. He bottled it. He couldn't hack the nights out until he no, went home. Lost There's no shame in saying it, Vic. Just, just, you know, last night, say it for what it is. You bottled it. Literally grabbed down for a few more days. And this is why, you know, um, he yeah, just, me, he, he's, I'm he's doing off. four million pound apartment tours while Calfrizi's trying to figure out what his next meal's going to be.